Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing a look um, for one of my oldest subscribers that I can remember. Um, Tasha Nicole, um, 86. I'm going to link her page. She just started doing makeup um, videos because she is right now in Kuwait. Okay, now I'm going to be taking this Revlon Lumine, Luminescence Cream Shadow in Mystical Magic. And I'm going to be taking this um, white color here. And it's a creamy pearl color. And I'm actually going to take some milk on top of that on the lid. The first color I'm going to use is called Bright Sunshine. It's a pro color. So with a small eyeshadow brush, I'm going to go Okay, and then, I'm then with 239, I'm going to go into Sushi Flower, right here, a color I very, rare, I don't even know, I'm going to say that I've never used this color before, I'm lying, I've only used it maybe once or twice, and I don't know why, because it's turning out very cute on me, my skin tone I should say, very pink, just put on the outer corner, in, so go to about halfway of your eye. And then actually, hot orange, NYX, using a small eyeshadow brush. This has some a little bit of fallout, so just tap it off. And in the center of my lid, I'm just going to blend those other two colors with the orange in the middle. That's what you got going now. Okay. Satellite Dreams with a crease brush. And go from the crease. See where the yellow is? The bright sunshine. So I'm going to go basically from the bright sunshine over. And this is just one of the crease colors. Sunshine. And Satellite Dreams just kind of blend that. Sketch. And an, a stiff angled brush, and I'm going to define the crease. Just basically over the pink and the orange, not over the yellow. And just blend up. See, I left that right there. Space here. I want that space. I'm going to take 239 into Nocturnal. Pick up the color on one side, and basically kind of over the sketch, here, apply it. Up. Go right to that yellow. And that just deepens the crease. Over the satellite dreams that you put down before. Please brush and get the color on there. I just wanted to not disturb too much of the color. The other colors that I laid down. So 239 is not really a crease brush, but it's good for placing color and really getting it concentrated exactly where you want it. 217 into shale. Now Shell used to be my jam. And I'm going to put up to the crease, to the brow bone, and blend a little bit to touch the satellite dreams that's there. 217. Just at the crease. Short strokes. Don't want to destroy that color placement that you did. You do want to get rid of that 
slight harshness that's going on there. See? Just a touch, you know. And the same thing with the the yellow, um, the bright sunshine into the hot orange. Close your eye. Soften it just ever so lightly. So you see the definition, but it's not so harsh. And that color we used before is a base, that iridescent color. And just go on the lower lid. Then you're going to take um, Humid with that same brush. Or any dark green. Um, and you're going to line the bottom, basically. From the outer corner here, halfway. And you blend the lighter color into the darker humid. Myself a highlight, highlight really. I'm going to take a called pallid right here. With the angled brush and just start in the middle. You want to see the highlight, but you don't want to be like, oh, she has a highlight on. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do this green. Okay, this is a Sephora color 202. And then I felt like I needed a little bit of pop in the center of my eye. So I'm taking Digit, this color here. It's a very light lavender color with a little crease brush just going in the inner corner. And has a purple hue to it, so it ties in with the nocturnal, with the sketch, with everything else that we did. All right, guys, I'm all done. I hope you really enjoy this look, Tasha and Nicole. This is just for you. Stay safe over there. Do some more videos that we can see you. Um, let me know when you do a video. I think I did subscribe to you, but let me know when you do a video anyway. Um, and stay safe over there, and thank you for defending our country, um, and being right there. But, um, I hope you enjoyed this look. If you have any questions about it, if you want to know any dupes, if you don't have the colors you want to know a dupe in real life, I'll let you know, no problem. Okay, bye guys.